That's amazing. That is sick ass. I think I saw that in Thor Ragnarok. What was it called? Satan's butthole or something yes. like that? Yes. I was gonna say, is that Galactus from Final F or from uh Fan Fantastic Four too? Love the little chocobo sprite there. <laughs> right? It's cute. So I guess we'll start with uh, introductions, of course. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Alesha. Um, or Zahn. Zahn, I guess, is the easier name for folks. Uh, I'm joined by Bear. What's up? And Seuss. Hello, hello. The, the Menagerie crew. Uh, and we're going to be going over Final Fantasy X, which we each have kind of a history with. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start with mine. Mm -hmm. Sounds this good. was my first Final Fantasy game. Um, it was one of those things where, you know, like, lower middle class family... Oh yeah, that's me trying to skip this, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're not that lucky. Right. Oh my god. Uh lower middle class family uh, you know you just kinda if we didn't have the things for it and honestly I had no interest because 7 was so overdone by my peer group that I had already known the whole story before ever playing it uh, and this just blew me out of the water and has stuck with me because of that what about you Bear? Uh, well Final Fantasy X was uh, my first Final Fantasy as well um, <clears throat> pardon me. Not my favorite one, but uh, certainly uh, one of uh, uh, one of the ones that sticks in your head. Um, I, I have ten too. I swear, to, I'm getting to the story <laughs> and also shut up. <laughs> Fucking spoil my story again, buddy. I'll s smack you the ne next week. Um. So the uh, the story I have behind uh, behind Final Fantasy X is actually uh, mostly behind Final Fantasy X II. Now, right around the time that uh, Final Fantasy XII came out, uh, I was uh, I was living in foster care at the time, uh, and I says to my mom, "Hey, um, what I want for Christmas is Final Fantasy XII," and she said, "Okay, I will get you Final Fantasy XII." Oof. Uh, she sends me a package in the mail, I open it up, and as many of you may have guessed, it's Final Fantasy X-2. I didn't know Final Fantasy X-2 existed at this time, so I was pretty stoked, actually. Um, and so I was like, hey, this isn't 12, can I get 12 for my birthday? Thank you very much. I'm going to play this and enjoy it. Um, and she says, okay, no problem. Uh, and so I play it, and being uh, of a certain age at the time, playing uh, playing fan service simulator uh, was actually quite enjoyable. <laughs> Look, every single dress sphere quite nearly had a thong, and it was very visible. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is also me trying to skip this part because we yeah. just saw this. I just, just saw it. What are you doing? <laughs> uh. But, so my birthday rolls around, I get a package in the mail, I'm excited, I open it up, it's Final Fantasy X-2 again. Okay, no, you know what, this is fine, you know, mom mom has some short-term memory issues, it's not a big deal, uh, I can get over this. So I give her a call and I says, hey mom, uh, you got me this game for Christmas, oh did I? Oh, well shoot, yeah, yeah. Well, can you enjoy that game too? No, I can't because it's the same game, you see. Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, I understand that you're a little on the broke side, so write this one down, please. Final Fantasy XII. Now, that's XII, not X2. If you see X2, it's the wrong one. Okay. Christmas time rolls around. I get a package in the mail about the size of a DVD case. I open it with mild trepidation and wouldn't you know it, a used copy of Final Fantasy X-2. <sighs> Mom, I love you, but you're killing me. <laughs> so, so I sold all three copies of Final Fantasy X-2 to my local friendly game store to and, uh, and went and bought my own goddamn copy of Final Fantasy XII. Yes. 
Maybe our Can I just say, I actually really like this setup. It'll become hack to do the, like, the two weeks earlier in the future, but at the time, this was actually quite refreshing and new, still. Mm. In medias res is always interesting. Uh-huh. What about you, Seuss? So, I'm probably the one with the least interesting story for 10. Um, I had played previous Final Fantasies, mostly constrained to, like, the Super Nintendo ones. I didn't really get into the ones on the PS1, so, like, 7, 8, 9. I never actually played through those. Obviously, I heard about 7 and I heard about 9 all the time, but I had no interest in them. <laughs> 10 was the first one that I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm playing this, I'm completing this. Um, and it probably took me about two years, but I definitely did complete it. It was not easy because I was a dumb kid at the time. <laughs> uh, but I feel that it's outside of 14, which has probably taken the top spot at this point. Oh yeah, it's same. arguably my absolute favorite uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy game, just because of like the battle system, the story, the animations. It's very early PS2, but they still do their damnedest to make it good a really good example of it's early ps2 is coming up in a second which is this gal's voice acting oh my which god is just a lot yep you want to try that take again just no, maybe we can get the money for that shit you what? you assume they paid people for this and this isn't just their office workers i assumed it was their office workers um <laughs> But yeah, no, Titus's half-cut-off shorts always bothered me in my yep. mind soul. Yeah. Um, <sighs> nobody oh, else God. wears clothes. Good God. Nobody else wears clothes like him. Right. Even other Blitzball players don't dress like that. <laughs> right. yeah, it, even in his own world, no one acts like this. Well, oh, yeah. I guess that's a good time to broach this. Um, this is a spoiler game. If you have... A spoiler playthrough. If hey, you haven't played play. Final Fantasy X, then this is the 20th anniversary, Maybe so... Tonight, um... Now would be a good time. So that's Bahamut, isn't it? Uh, yes. I mean, yes, it is. I really want that lady's hat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. She doesn't ever show up again. I just want her hat. It's, it's remarkable how many individual models they actually could afford to have on this because oh, it's the PS2. It uses DVDs rather than CDs. I know. All um, of this money went into this game and still we end up saddled with Meg Ryan. <sighs> look. Look. <laughs> so I, I remember... missed this part. I didn't realize there was a fucking announcer to this part. Like a, a monologue about Jekt here. Oh You're... god. So that's why I dick around in this area a bit too much. It's just mm. to hear all of it, because I just ran through this area every time as a kid. Like, oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. You want to get to the game. You want to you wanna hear more about it. It's, I yeah. was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. <laughs> but I as an adult, Jeff I really like this. So I vividly remember like being, okay, well, this is fairly normal at the start. It looks pretty, it's fine, but I had played other PS2 games by the time I actually got this one, and I was like, alright, this is pretty standard fare as far as graphical fidelity goes. This scene, when it shows the whole city, obviously now you can see, oh, it's just a flat JPEG. You know? But I remember being like, holy shit, look at that city. Look at the actual textures on that. It's not like Legos from fucking PS1 level shit anymore. I see where Minecraft got their habits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, they've got that water animation. Obviously, some of these have been touched up for the remaster and everything like that. But as a kid, on a fucking CRT, not a CRT monitor, but like an old style composite cable TV. Oh, man. This was amazing. <laughs> and add to that the fact that there is some animation on that water in the background. That's yep. something we added, I think. Uh, but the cutscene coming up, the uh, non-rent, oh, yeah. the, the pre-rendered cutscene is 
no word of a lie, some of the best you will ever see on the PS2. Like, Honestly, even... I didn't even realize it was pre-rendered. I just thought it was, oh, we sunk all of our money into this. I mean, that, that happened too. But um, similarly to some of the backgrounds like this one in particular, they only show you them from certain angles because they're essentially just flat photographs like they would do in the PS1 days. Ah, uh, here we are. Pre rendered cutscene time. Rock. I am ready for some butt rock. I love this shit. It's oh, yeah. Movie. Otherworld is great. Is that what that's called? Yes. Oh. Also, <laughs> hi. Just, again, remember, I'm going to edit that. Fidelity! <laughs> so smooth, you didn't even notice. Oh, my goodness. Just, just buttery smooth editing right there. T shut up. <laughs> But like, yeah, let's get introduced uh, to everyone's favorite part of this game. Other world? No. Oh, the blitz ball, yes. God, the butt rock. Butt rock! So. Alright, best character in the game. The man true. so badass that death itself served only to piss him off. So. This is, uh. This is something that I do want to bring up. The Final Fantasy series has always had, like,. An interesting connection to music, whereas most fantasy-style RPGs, your Dragon Quest, your whatever, um, have always kind of gone for the very orchestral, you know, fantasy-sounding music. Final nice. Fantasy has always at least had some level of connection to rock music, harder music. Stuff that I love push. that look, by the way. The, the buildings being sucked up. Oh, yeah. Man, it's really cool. Well, that's because, you know, the Black Mages, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I know what you mean. Although, I was about to point out, Nier Automata was a really good example of the orchestral over... Like, orchestral, I guess, JRPG still? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm not knocking the other the other kinds of games that do the full orchestral stuff, but like, you're ten years old, and this starts playing the best right. graphics you've ever seen, and this music just there's no way you wouldn't lose your shit. And something stirs within young Bear, and he starts thinking, "Man, I want this, but even harder." And he gets into metal. <laughs> and then Titus fell 30 feet into a crumbling pile of rubble and died. Game over. Thank uh, God. <laughs> cut to black. Um, so one of the big things, too, uh, that hit me about this... I lost that. Completely. Well, that's what editing's for. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Zahn was not looking at the screen for this part. Titus, <laughs> Titus, yo, Meg thing. Ryan, Meg Ryan, this way. Orin, what are you doing here? But how much do you just want to immediately ally with Orin when you see him, right? Ally with? Fuck, I want to play. Right. Well, okay. So one of the cool things, this will be Zon's first cool fact. Uh, he wasn't even supposed to be like a character. He was supposed to be your enemy in the original pitch. I believe it. He was supposed to lead a group called the Crimson Blades. Uh, Hi, Bahamut. Huh? So you can uh, tell it's Bahamut because of the wheel on his back. <laughs> hey, kid, uh, what are you doing? You stop at time again? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, originally, Titus was supposed to be unsent, and Orin was chasing him down to send him. Huh. Uh, and because the Sixth Sense came out and became popular in Japan, they scrapped that whole plan. Because well, I yeah. think it would be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, because... Somebody already did it. <laughs> so the original pitch is so weird, because... It involved a world where a person that reaches 17 years old dies. What? Yeah, that was the original pitch. And Yuna wasn't going to be a priestess of any kind, she was supposed to be a nurse. Oh, hey, that was actually a really smooth transition to pre-rendered. Right? That's baller. And, spooky. and back to... in-engine. Yeah. 
yeah, no, hide. They did, a, they did a very good job hiding those sorts of things. Mm-hmm. Especially when you consider, again, the fact that this initially was never designed to be played in HD. It was only ever designed to be played on, like, composite cables. Mm-hmm. Those things still freak me out. Oh, the Sin Spawn? Yeah, just the spawners and everything like it. Oh, they're so weird. They're so... They... Funky. So, looking looking at the textures now, obviously they have not aged well. Um, no, but I always... I, I mean, I don't know, I think pretty decent for, like, 2001. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's, again, I said they haven't they, the they aged they well. lifts them up with one hand. Yeah. yeah. With a sword. Um... <laughs> It's it's a little weird. They always had like this kind of the closest analog I can think of would be like with Final Fantasy VII, like the the weird fucked up science experiments that Hojo uses and whatnot. Oh, like they, Joe. they they looked like something that was designed and made rather than something that was like naturally occurring. Yeah. As I, from what I've read about them, because I did some... Oh, yeah, Zahn is distracted by Discord, so this will be skipped for oh. a sec. Sorry about that. Then, yeah, we should probably hold off. <laughs> this gives me time to tell everybody who's pinging me to fuck off. Because bears being a good bear. There we go. Hey, <laughs> smash. Um, but yeah, just very distinctive designs. Like, honestly, I've seen 13's designs, and they're very forgettable. I can't imagine forgetting anyone by just appearance so alone in this cool. game. You know? Yeah. No. Everybody's got that very distinct silhouette. You know what you're looking at as soon as you look at it. It's like, these are fucked up bug monsters. And you can see that. You can tell. And I can I just say the fact that Titus knows how to use that fuck... Yes, we're calling him Titus. It's not Titus. 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 Uh, yeah. The fact that he even remotely knows how to use a sword like that is kind of silly. But if you actually look at the way he's holding it, he's basically just using it like a pipe. He's just kind of swinging it. He's just <laughs> putting the sharp edge forward a bit. Yeah. Granted, it's not nearly as bad as Sora in Kingdom Hearts, where it's like, that is not the, posi- the pose of somebody that knows how to use a blade. That's a cat that doesn't want know if it wants to play with the thing it just caught. True. <laughs> um, but no, this... Get out of my town! <sighs> Some can't wait to die. That is such weird dialogue. Some yeah. of the some of the dialogue during the fights and whatnot is very. Hey, this was canned. Cool. Uh. Oh, you're. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> there were choices made. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not judging. It is a turn-based RPG. It's not like you need a controller. Uh, uh, I just find the the active time bits where you have to like enter in buttons and whatnot a lot easier when you're doing that controller. Uh, Rage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. No, everybody does that. <laughs> yeah, I just mash until I get it. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Like this is this definitely sold me on Final Fantasy initially. Right, what I was going to say before about the uh, Sin Spawn. Yeah. There's supposed to be scales. Yeah. There's supposed yeah. to be the scales of Sin. Uh, so... Um, the, the Sin Spawn, yes, these things, the small bugs that you fight, they are actually called Sin Scales, I think. Um, uh, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying, is the Sin Scales are supposed yeah. to be, like, yeah, scales. Um, very very reminiscent of stuff like um, I see Zahn hasn't figured out that Demi can't kill you 
I had not yet. Yeah, very reminiscent of I'm gonna I'm gonna play my hand here. Stuff like John Carpenter's The Thing, where it's like, oh, every part of it is a whole. You you it sheds its scales and the scales get up and start attacking people. What the fuck? Right? It's like honestly, I really think Sin's a cool concept. Uh, it's a little underbaked at times. I really do feel the same. Like, they could have done quite a lot with it, and in the end, it really just serves as kind of a background impetus to get the plot rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kicks off with... Honestly, I didn't... I And this was definitely because I was a kid, but the twist of Titus is honestly was very shocking to me. Oh, yeah, no, the the whole, um, oh, he's actually, like, uh, oh, there's my save file, yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, the fact that he's, like, oh, God, like, a dream creation of spirits, or so I can't even recall the actual isn't terminology. Isn't specifically, isn't Bahamut's, uh, Faith specifically dreaming of this. Yes. And that's yeah. why Bahamut shows up several times. And, and has control yeah. over the thing. Yeah. That that sounds right. Yes. Um, but like that sort of plot twist, and that's not even like the climax. That you that happens like Midway. in a rant that early third like act? A, no, like no, it's random after we hit the common lands we learn. Yeah, uh, shortly before, I think. Um, right, because there's the wall. Yeah. Um, but, like, it's just kind of there. It's, like, on the side of the road. <laughs> Which... I was waiting for it to prompt me, because... Yeah. Mm. Um, so, I wanted to tell you guys this, because this is on second fact about the bait, or bad. the original pitch. Oh, boy. Titus's role was vastly different. What? Titus was envisioned as a plumber with an attitude. I... And it was going to be released on the Nintendo PlayStation, right? <laughs> no, no. This is well after the Nintendo PlayStation. Wahoo, that said... We that said... Uh, uh, his, 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 uh, his real name was, in fact, uh, Swordman. Much like Jumpman, but different. God. <laughs> so, uh, this is actually something that I appreciate about Ten's battle system. Mm -hmm. On the surface, it's very simplistic. You've got the turn order, your different actions, you know, change the turn ordering and everything like that. But they keep it interesting. They give you things that aren't enemies to target to complete boss fights, for instance. Um, Can I just say that that's so fucked up? These people are inconveniencing us. Time to drop a fucking building. Just like... Well, also place recall is that already Orin, falling apart. Well, also recall that Oren knows what's really going on. Yeah, but from Titus's point of view, you just crushed an inhabited building. Yeah, but Oren knows we're still in a dream. Snake Eater. Oh my god. Snake Eater! Um, but yeah, like, they, they give you little active time things for, like, the, the limit breaks and shit like that, which admittedly won't cut Oh, just right back into pre-render. Yeah, oh, that hi. was a good transition, though, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh. God, it's very pretty, though. Even yeah. Though they didn't do much for the HD to make this. That's amazing. That is sick ass. I think I saw that in Thor Ragnarok. What was it called? Satan's butthole or something yes. like that? Yes. I was going to say, is that Galactus from Final F or from uh, Fan Fantastic Four. Four 2? This building doesn't have a flared base. <laughs> oh, I love this bit. This fucking editing technique. Why did they choose to do this? Just wait for it. What? Here we go. <laughs> and and <Jesus>. star wipe. <laughs> God, I love it. <laughs> you, 
you really can see some of the corners that got cut, but even then, like, it's still pretty good. <laughs>